Good morning children. This is Tulasi E. PGT Chemistry from TSMS Madhur presenting the topic called as Ionic Bond. What is an Ionic Bond? The strong force of attraction existing between two oppositely charged ions is called as Ionic Bond. The strong force of attraction existing between two oppositely charged ions is called as ionic bond. Then the question arises, what is an ion? An ion is formed when an atom either loses an electron or gains an electron. Why should an atom lose or gain electron? Because atom is not stable. They combine with the other atoms to get the stability. So in order to get stability, to get nearest to noble configuration, atoms tends to lose or gain electrons following octet rule. What is octet rule? Octet rule means presence of 8 electrons in the valency shell is called as octet rule. So, atoms either lose or gain electrons to form ions and uh, these ions are of two types. One is cation and another one is anion. What is cation? When an atom loses electron to get octet out of electronic configuration, cation is formed. For example, sodium. Sodium with atomic number 11 is having a electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 and 3s1. That means sodium is having a 3 shells. In the first shell sodium is having a 2 electrons. Second shell sodium is having 8 electrons and in the third shell sodium is having 1 electron. But in the valency shell that is the last shell Sodium is having only one electron, but to get stability, it needs uh, seven more electrons. If it loses this electron, so if it loses this electron, it gets uh, eight electrons in the second shell, which is uh, stable. So easily, sodium loses this electron and form cation. Because it is losing one electron, here the charge becomes plus one. And in the case of anion, we are going to see anion. When an atom gains electron to get octet out of electronic configuration, anion is formed. Here we can take an example of chlorine 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2 and 3p5. In the first shell, 2 electrons are present. In the second shell, 8 electrons and in the third shell, 7 electrons are present. In the third shell, 7 electrons are there. That means that it needs one more electron to get stability and that electron it is getting from sodium. So you can uh, see clearly in this diagram, diagrammatic representation of uh, transfer of electron from sodium to chlorine. Next, this is how an ionic bond is formed between sodium and chlorine. Sodium is donating the electron and chlorine is accepting that electron. Complete transfer of electrons is taking place. You can see how the sodium cation is formed and chlorine negative ion is formed as that is anion. One more example from cation is uh, here uh, ionic bond is uh, lithium fluoride. In lithium with atomic number 3 you are having a uh, two shells uh, in the first shell two electrons in the second shell one electron and fluorine uh, again here atomic number nine it is also having two shells uh, that is in the first shell you are having two electrons and in the second shell you are having uh, seven electrons so the excess electron is transferred to the fluorine and resulting in the formation of lithium fluoride so thus uh, we can conclude that Ionic bond is formed by complete transfer of electrons from positively charged cation to negatively charged anion. As the bond formed here is between two oppositely charged ions, this is also called as electrovalent bond and ionic bond is the strongest bond. If you see the properties of ionic compounds, ionic bonds are non-directional in nature. Ionic compounds are good conductors of heat and electricity. Ionic compounds are ductile and malleable. Thank you. Thank you one and all.